so I will um, share papers about VAEs and GANs for natural language processing. Uh, so I, I, will, I choose uh, four related, uh, relevant papers. Uh, the first paper is about uh, um, adversarial ranking for language generation. So we know that uh, GANs uh, achieve good great success in computer vision, but it uh, faces much uh, challenges in, uh, for natural language. Uh, the first limitation is it cannot uh, uh, smoothly handle uh, this discrete data. And the second limitation is uh, the discriminator is designed as a binary classifier and is limited to learn the rich uh, natural language structures. So this paper uh, proposed rank gap, uh, which um, learns to rank, uh, rank a list of sentences. So the uh, idea is um, the generator generates a, a sentence, and uh, the ranker uh, the ranker uh, receive a list of sentence uh, uh, receive the generated sentence as well as a list of um, human written sentences, and uh, the ranker is trained to learn to sort uh, to sort the sentences, and uh, the generator here is uh, try to confuse the ranker so that. Uh, the machine written sentence are ranked higher than human written sentence. Uh, they design loss um, to um, the loss is designed as the uh, the, the sentence similarity. Uh, so the uh, they, they define a reward as the score of the ranking for each sentence. And the U here is the reference, and the C here means the uh, the comparison list of sentence. And uh, they will try to uh, uh, maximize the, the rank of the uh, reward, the, the sentence. The reward is defined as the uh, softmax of the cosine similarity between the generated sentence and uh, uh, the uh, comparison sentences. So to, to train this uh, neural network, they use policy gradient. The policy is defined as the uh, the pro uh, probability of the next word, next general word, as the previous general word, and uh, the reward is defined as the the big R here. So their results are, are good, and uh, uh, we got different uh, metrics. Um, and here are some examples. You can sh you can see that their uh, uh, the rank uh, rank gun can uh, generate much uh, better results. Uh, the second paper is about uh, it uh, has a similar idea, but it's for visual dialogue model. Uh, the task is so. Uh, so we, uh, the motivation is uh, for neural dialogue generation. Uh, the, the model often tend to produce safe and gener generic response. For example, I don't know and I uh, I can't tell. So uh, this is uh, very boring for the real uh, real application. So this paper they propose um, generate uh, generate a, a, a list of um, so they they're, they propose a generative visual dialogue model uh, G to produce sentences that score highly under a, discrimin a discriminative visual dialogue model. So the uh, discriminator here will receive a candidate list of possible responses and learn to sort them. And the, the generator uh, aims to produce a sequence that D will rank the highest in the list. So given uh, the model, uh, here is the uh, structure of the model, uh, giving uh, an image and a question and the uh, history of, di uh, of questions, um, the generator will encode the, this into a vector E. And it will generate a answer, uh, generate a sentence question, um, generate an answer. So the discriminator will receive this answer, and it will learn a space that the generated uh, generated uh, uh, answer ranks um, the highest in the in a list. So the the di discriminator loss is defined as this, and uh, this. Uh, so f is um, uh, the f is an embedding function, and uh, uh, through this uh, through this loss function, they will uh, try to uh, encourage 
to learn a space in which the gratuitous answer is second uh, is scored higher than other options. And the the the, the generator will uh, try to um, rank the let the disk matter to rank the generated sentence uh, to rank higher than the uh, ground truth sentence. Uh, so they uh, they evaluate this uh, information retrieval matrix, and the results are uh, they achieve good results. And we can see that uh, the, the the some uh, quality qualitative examples, and uh, their results are good, uh, and the different. Uh, um, yeah, so their results are they, they can achieve uh, better results, more diverse results. And the third paper is uh, about uh, diverse and accurate image description. So the motivation is similar. So uh, they want to, uh, for image, they want to achieve diverse image descriptions. And um, so one, a, a very conventional approach is to use variation autoencoder. Uh, in which uh, the encoder will sample um, a Latin, Latin variable uh, from um, uh, a Gaussian distribution, and uh, the decoder will, um, will use this uh, random variable as well as the image feature to generate uh, the uh, generate descriptions. Um, but this model uh, is hard to train; it, it uh, suffers from mode collapse, uh, so the, it, it, it will generate a very um, uh, generic answer. Uh, uh, you just generate a very uh, single topic of uh, image. So this is because the random variable is uh, the the distribution assumption is too simple for the random variable to capture the uh, complexity of the real sentences. So uh, so uh, the idea here is uh, can we structure the Latin read space with multiple Gaussian priors? So different priors have different mu and sigma, and ac according to the different modes or topics of the image content. Um, there are two ways to model these multiple Gaussian priors. The first one is Gaussian mixture model, and the second one proposed by this paper is called um, ad addictive Gaussian prior. So for the Gaussian mix mixture model, um, they assume that for each image we can obtain a topic description. Uh, C C one to C K. Uh, each C C is a uh, weight or uh, indicating the weights of the of the topic, and for each component, it contains uh, it has a mu and sigma, and uh, it assumes that the Latin variable uh, is uh, distributed according to the um, mixture of the Gaussian Gaussian pri uh, priors, and their goal is to minimize the care distance for each component. And they propose uh, addictive Gaussian uh, priors. So the difference is they uh, for uh, for image contains several topics, um, each correspond to means and sigma, and they require the mean of the enco encoder distribution to be close as the uh, weighted linear com combination of the res uh, respective means. So we can see the difference that. Uh, the Gaussian mixed model will uh, mixture their distributions, while the uh, addictive Gaussian model will, uh, uh, will mixture their means and, uh, the, and uh, uh, build a new distribution, a new Gaussian distribution. Um, so their goal is uh, minimize the care distance between the posterior distribution and uh, the po uh, pr prior distribution. And they can achieve better, uh, much better results than the LSTM baselines as we can see from the uh, from the uh, samples. And uh, so the table shows the the unique uh, unique uh, percentage of unique uh, images for uh, uh, per, uh, of unique uh, sentences for each image. Uh, we can see that uh, the eight, the addictive Gaussian model can achieve better, much better results than uh, uh, baselines. The last paper I want to share is the star transfer for non parallel test by bar cross alignment. So, um, 
we are giving a collection of uh, we are giving two collections of documents, and each with a label, uh, the style. Uh, for example, uh, uh, each each collection is uh, uh, so we have two collections X1 and X2, and each have a style label. And our goal is uh, giving one doc collection of document, and we want to generate uh, uh, so giving one collection of document and their style and a target uh, style. Why uh, why why one? We want to generate the target set, target documents. So the objective can be summarized as this, uh, these two. So in their approach, uh, they reformulate this uh, objective as uh, uh, to two steps. They introduce a Latin variable as uh, a Z, which represents the real content of the of the documents. And uh, they uh, the objective can be formulated formulated as two steps. First, we want we, we need to uh, giving x and y we uh, infer its content z from the uh, uh, z, and we we call it uh, encoder. And uh, the next step, we uh, giving the style and the content we want to rec recover the uh, the uh, documents. Yeah, so um, we have a uh, recurrent, uh, recurrent, recover uh, loss to uh, to maximize the, the, the to minimize the cross entropy of each uh, recovered. Uh, and in this paper, they uh, propose cross alignment uh, to encoder. So there, uh, so they directly transform from the. Uh, from the source uh, document to the target document with um, with each uh, document. Uh, so here, with this transformation, they uh, they assume that the uh, x one sample from the uh, original document should uh, have the same distribution as the transferred uh, transferred document from the target to, uh, from the source. Uh, document. So given x2, we transfer it to x1, and we want the transferred x1 to have the same distribution as the original x1. So that uh, here they uh, uh, they propose uh, they have an encoder and a generator, and the encoder uh, the, the first the row represents the, uh, the original document, and the second row, uh, second line. Represents the uh, uh, transfer transfer the uh, x one. So the generator is a uh, 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 recurrent neural network will uh, transfer the uh, from the encoding, and this recurrent neural network has hidden variables. And uh, this paper, uh, the, their approach will align the each hidden uh, hidden states of the. Uh, original, original document and uh, the transfer document. So uh, their result, they, they achieve a uh, good result uh, uh, in the text rewriting goal, uh, which try to uh, change the sentiment of uh, text and see the results. So here are some examples. You can see that from uh, we, uh, the original text is uh, slow, and uh, when transferred to positive, yeah, then it will shoot, uh, fast. So that's all my uh, talk. Thank you.
Oh, they, they, oh, they are the same as uh, uh, oh, they the same Yeah, also, also. So just uh, the difference, just uh, the de definition of the loss. In terms of yeah. Yeah. 